Hey guys, it's Flavor Friday here at Snowy Shaved Ice. I'm Callie and today I'm going to be talking to you about preservative. We sell preservative because it is really important that if you're making five gallons or more of sugar water at a time, it's important you preserve your sugar water. If you don't, it will spoil in a week, maybe two weeks, and now you have to toss all the sugar water you made, okay? If you preserve it, you extend the life of your sugar water um, up to a year. And the other benefit to preserving it is that you keep your bottles, your serving bottles, and your, if you have a flavor station with all of your different jugs and the tubes and all of, you know, all of the fittings, you keep all of that clean so you, you avoid growth of, you know, microorganisms. So if you order the preservative kit in the liquid form, it's a two to one ratio. That's why this bottle is bigger. Okay, so you, you use two ounces of the preservative and one of the citric acid. If you go with the powder, it's a one to one ratio. It comes with a scoop and you, it's just one scoop of each, okay? The reason we started offering this is because we, we wanted to help with shipping costs. This will preserve 32 head packs where that kit only preserves 16. And this also weighs less. So, you know, your shipping costs are gonna be less money. So we thought this was a good option for, you know, we, we needed to offer this to you guys. Uh, maybe I'll walk through exactly how, how to make it. So if you have, you want to start with a, a five gallon jug. On the side of your jug, there's a scale. You can see where it goes, you know, it tells you there's one gallon, two, three, four, and five is full. You want to put in one gallon of water, okay? So you put your one gallon of water. And then the very first thing you want to do before you do anything else is you'll take off your, if you go with the liquid, okay, you'll take off the cap on the preservative bottle and then you squeeze, if you can see me squeeze this reservoir, you squeeze it to the one ounce line, you dump this in and then you do that again because you need two ounces. So you dump that in, squeeze it again and, and put it in your jug. So now you have one gallon of water and your two ounces of your preservative. The next thing you want to do is you can go ahead and dump in your 25 pounds of sugar, a 25 pound bag, add water one, once, once it's full, all the way full. And even after possibly after you've mixed your sugar water and it's dissolved, then at the very end, you add one ounce of the citric acid and then mix it again. So you want to make sure it's all incorporated. Okay. If you go with the powder, Open this up, get rid of the plastic, grab your scoop, and same thing, one gallon of water, one scoop, one level scoop of the preservative, put in your 25 pounds of sugar, fill your, fill your jug with water, mix, and we have a non-electric, we have a tool that goes on the end of a drill, it's a really great way to mix in a five gallon jug. So it's like a mixing tool, goes on the end of a drill. <clears throat> Once your sugar is dissolved, very last thing you do is with your scoop, one level scoop of the citric acid, mix it again. And now you have, you, you have sugar water that is, it will stay good for a year. So whichever kit you decide to go with, you want to make sure that you follow the instructions on the container. You need to follow them. You have to do it in the order that we, that we tell you to do it in. Because if you, if you put your preservative and your citric acid in at the same time, they have a, a chemical reaction and it will I, will, I will show you what that looks like, but also it, um, it's not, you're, it, it's not going to preserve the way it should. It's not, it's not going to work. Okay. So a lot of people uh, don't know why we include citric acid in the kit. It is because you need the citric acid to activate the preservative. That is the only reason. And if you, if you don't follow the process of, you know, doing your preservative first and the citric acid last, if you put them in together at the same time, they bind to one another and create a chemical reaction, which um, makes it inactive. It, it won't do anything. It will not preserve your sugar water. Okay. So you want to make sure you, you follow the instructions. So I'm going to show you what that looks like just for fun. So you, you can see what happens if we, if we, if we do the two together at the same time. Okay, so there's our preservative. 
on the snowy shovel. <clears throat> Okay, that's what happens. And that, that like foamy, milky looking um, stuff <laughs> is, you can't get rid of that either. Okay, so if you put them in together, that is that foam that is gonna be residual in your sugar water. And now you have this like gross looking film and you also have sugar water that is not preserved. If you haven't used our preservative and citric acid, I really encourage you to do so if you're making five gallons of sugar water or more at a time. And the, if you didn't know, we offer it. If you do use our liquid and you didn't know, we now have it in powder. This is, this, I, I think this is a better way to go because you, you, you get twice as much product essentially uh, <clears throat> and it costs less to ship it because it weighs less. I mean, you would have to order two kits to get the same value that you get in this one kit. And this is also less money. If you were to buy two of the liquid kits, you would end up spending more than if you bought the one powder kit. You save like a few bucks. And that's, we're all about saving money. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching Flavor Friday and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thump it. <laughs>